So in this video, we will see about the basic definition of the frequency modulation and its corresponding derivation. And one of the important question asked in university is derive the equation of frequency modulated wave, define modulation index and frequency deviation, which is asked from the question paper January, February 2021. So what is meant by frequency modulation? You know that uh, if the frequency of the carrier signal is varied with respect to that of your message signal, then it is called as frequency modulation. So we can define frequency modulation as it is defined as the type of angle modulation in which the instantaneous frequency f i of t is varied in accordance with the message signal. So what is your instantaneous frequency of your fm? The instantaneous frequency of your fm signal can be given as f i of t is equal to f c plus k f into m of t. So what is your k f? k f is nothing but your sensitivity factor, right? f c is nothing but your carrier frequency and m of t is your message signal. Okay. So in general, you know that the angle modulated wave is given by what is your modulated angle modulated wave? It is given as S of t is equal to AC into cos theta I of t. So what is your theta I of t? It is nothing but the angle of the modulated carrier. It can be either frequency or phase. Okay. So what is your AC? AC is nothing but your carrier signal amplitude. So moving on to the next slide. So the time domain representation of your FM signal. So in general, you know that the time domain representation of your angle modulated wave is represented as the same formula S of t is equal to AC into cos theta I of t, where, where what is your theta I of t is nothing but angle of the modulated carrier and what is your AC? AC is nothing but your amplitude of the carrier signal, right? Now, the frequency at any instant, which is known as the instantaneous frequency in general as per your derivative law is given as f i of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi into derivation, right? d uh, theta i of t divided by dt. Let us take this as equation 2. Already you know that the in frequency modulation, the instantaneous frequency is given by f i of t is equal to f c plus k f into m of t where fc is your frequency of your carrier and kf is your frequency sensitivity of the modulator with, with the unit hertz per volt. So if you see the equation 2 and equation 3, your LHS is equal to equal, right? So I can equate both the equations. So f i of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi d theta i of t divided by dt and f i of t is equal to fc plus kf into m of t. So I can write that 1 by 2 pi into d theta i of t divided by dt which is equal to fc plus kf into m of t. From this equation can I find out what is d theta i of t divided by dt if I uh, take this equation 2 pi will come to the opposite side right. So d theta i of t divided by dt which will be equal to 2 pi into fc plus kf into m of t. Now I am going to integrate this equation. So if I integrate the equation integration and differentiation will get cancelled off. So, in LHS you will be having theta i of t, then you will be having 2 pi, right? So, in the right hand side you will be having 0 to t, 2 pi into fc plus kf into m of, m of t into dt, right? So, integrating the first term what you will be getting? 0 to t 2 pi fc uh, into dt you will be getting 2 pi fct plus 2 pi kf 2 pi kf will be constant integrating 0 to t m of t into dt. So this is your final theta i of t. Now you have got what is your theta i of t for your frequency modulation. Can you substitute this in your general equation? You know that s of t is equal to ac into cos theta i of t. Instead of theta i of t you are going to substitute the equation. So what you will be getting s of t is equal to, I can write s of t is equal to ac into cos 2 pi fct plus 2 pi kf into 0 to t m of t into dt. So this is your time domain representation of your fm signal. Okay. Next, let us see your single tone modulation. 
So in the case of single tone modulation, you are going to substitute the value of m of t is equal to with one frequency component, right? So am into cos 2 pi fm t. So you know that fi of t is equal to fc into fc plus kf into m of t and uh, f, fi of t is equal to instead of m of t, I am going to substitute the value, right? So what you will be getting fi of t is equal to fc plus kf into instead of m of t, you are going to substitute am into cos 2 pi fm into t. So I can from this equation, I can take kf into fm, sorry, kf into am is nothing but your frequency deviation del f. So I can replace it and write it as fi of t which is equal to fc plus del f into cos 2 pi fm t where your del f is nothing but your frequency deviation which is equal to kf into am which represents the maximum deviation of the instantaneous frequency of the fm wave from the carrier frequency fc right. So from the equation you can uh, you can see that your frequency deviation is proportional to the amplitude of the modulating signal but independent of the modulating frequency. So now you have the modified instantaneous frequency fi of t is equal to fc plus del f into cos 2 pi fm t. Already you know that the generalized equation is uh, instantaneous uh, frequency fi of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi into d theta i of t divided by dt, right? So from this, can you find out uh, what is your um, theta i of t? What will be your theta i of t? Theta i of t is equal to 2 pi into 0 to t f i of t into dt. When you integrate both sides, taking same procedure what we have done in the uh, previous case, right? From this, if I take d uh, theta i of t divided by dt, which will be equal to 2 pi into f i of t, right? Now you have to integrate both sides. What you will be getting integration differentiation will get cancelled. So you will be getting theta i of t which is equal to 2 pi will be constant 2 pi into 0 to t f i of t into dt. Right? That is what it is written in the step. So you will uh, you can substitute the value for f i of t. Instead of f i of t what is your value? You have modified equation f c plus del f into cos 2 pi f m t. You are going to substitute it here. Right? So fc plus del f into cos 2 pi fm t into dt. When you are integrating what you will be getting first term you will be getting 2 pi fc t. What will be the integration of cos 2 pi fm t which will be equal to sin 2 pi fm t divided by 2 pi fm. That is what written in this next step. Okay. So you can write it as del f into sin 2 pi fm t divided by 2 pi fm. Then you will be getting a 2 pi constant, right? So 2 pi. So I can cancel this 2 pi 2 pi. What you will be getting the equation 2 pi fc t plus del f divided by the de denominator you will be having an fm into sin 2 pi fm t. Now I can take this ratio del f divided by fm which is nothing but your modulation index which is represented as beta, okay? So the ratio of the frequency deviation to the modulation modulating frequency fm is called as the modulation index of fm which is denoted by beta. So I can write that beta is equal to del f divided by fm. Okay. So this is equal to your modulation index which will be always greater than 1. Now you can modify the equation as theta i of t is equal to 2 pi f c t instead of del f by fm I have replaced it by beta beta into sin 2 pi fm t. So now you have got the modified theta i of t. Again can you substitute in the same formula s of t is equal to ac into cos theta i of t right. Instead of theta i of t you are substituting it as 2 pi f c t plus beta into sin 2 pi fm t which is your equation of your single tone modulation.